Okay, so today the topic we consider is the revocation of a power of attorney. Now, of course, you know, a power of attorney is um, the authority that is granted by um, one person who owns an estate in land to another person, his attorney, um, to act on his behalf. Now, there are three ways by which a power of attorney may be revoked. Um, it could be revoked expressly, or it could be revoked impliedly, or it could be revoked by operation of law. Now, when we talk about express revocation of a power of attorney, this is where the uh, donor of the power um, expressly in writing would revoke the power that was granted to the donee, the attorney. So for instance, if he granted it by deed, um, then he would also execute a deed by which he revokes the power that was granted. If it was simply in writing, then in writing, it would also expressly revoke the power that was granted. Now with implied revocation, this is where the donor now starts to do certain acts um, that are inconsistent with the grant that was made. So if the donor, for instance, appoints you, his attorney, to negotiate with certain buyers for the sale of his land, and uh, before you can do that, you discover that the donor has already entered into negotiation with some buyers, some prospective buyers, uh, that's an implied revocation of the power that was granted. Because what he's doing now is at odds with the power he granted you. And so it's taken to mean he has revoked uh, that power that was granted. And of course, it's well within the rights of the donor to do this, all right? At any time during um, the period of grant of a power, the donor has the right to revoke it, of course, except if it was granted for a specific period of time and that time is unexpired, or if the power was granted for valuable consideration. So it's supported by valuable consideration and that consideration has not yet been repaid. Now, the last revocation um, we have is revocation by operation of law. Now, this is where some event takes place which leads to incapacity. And so the power automatically is revoked because you would recall that in order to grant a power of attorney, the donor must be a person possessing legal capacity to do so. And so if at some point there's a loss of capacity as a result of death, as a result of unsoundness of mind, as a result of bankruptcy, um, then automatically the power is revoked by operation of law. All right, so you're going to see um, many examples um, where the donor grants um, power to an attorney and then the power is supported by valuable consideration and then the donor dies. Um, now, does death in that instance revoke the power? Um, the answer is no, uh, because even though a power of attorney um, may be revoked by operation of law, um, if it was supported by consideration, um, then the consideration must be repaid in order for the power to be revoked. And likewise, if it was granted for a fixed period, then that period must also have expired for the power to be revoked. Um, so those are the three ways by which a power um, of attorney is revoked, um, by express revocation, implied revocation, and also revocation by operation of law. So I hope that's been clear and you've learned something new today. So um, I'll see you some other time. Bye for now.